cognizant to the needs of our learners, parents, and teachers, the Department of Education provided us with powerful tools for productivity that will allow us to foster critical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, communication and collaboration skills to be compassionate, responsible global citizens. Join us and discover new ideas in our series of professional development training program with the ICTS at Tech Unit and Microsoft Education Philippines. Together, we will equip our learners and empower our fellow educators for a dynamic future. Para sa bata, para sa bayan, at para sa guro. Sulong Edukalidad! Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Madge. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, ALS, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which we will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gaps where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Hello! Good afternoon everyone! It's Monday, Earth and Life Science Day! Week 4 for the second quarter sa ating mga mahusay na mga grade 11 and 12 learners, parents, and teachers. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ihanda ng ating puso't isipan para sa panibagong Linggo na puno ng agamazing na pagkatuto. Dito lamang sa Itulay Level Up. I'm Tutor Juice from Kabiga High School, Kalaakan City. I'm your guide this afternoon. The topic for this day, Unifying Teams in the Study of Life. And thank you to DepEd Region 4A, Calabarzon for providing us and sharing the ADM Earth and Life Science module. For the attendance, don't forget to share our live stream, guys. Mga anak, please don't forget to share our live stream. Then, type the name of your section, location, uh, the name of your school, and the name of your ELS teacher. And please be respectful with your comments. And don't forget to like and share also our Facebook page, the Itulay ELS with Tutor Tony and Tutor Juice. Um, you can send your question or verifications regarding the lesson anytime we post the announcement or uh, update or our announcement will be posted anytime in that page spot. And let us recognize the school students and the teachers who participated uh, last session. Congratulations, hashtag Mahusay to Padre Garcia National High School of Batangas, uh, Inos Loban Marawoy Integrated National Integrated High School, Lipa City, Batangas. San Isidro Integrated High School of Lipa City, Horacio de la Costa High School of Caloacan City, and our ELS partner school in NCR, Visayas, Luzon, and Mindanao. The ELS Teachers of the Week, congratulations to Sir Jerwin A. Gutierrez of Inosloban Marawoy Integrated National High School, SDO Lipa City, Ma'am Chona M. Castillo of San Isidro Inter uh, Integrated High School, SDO Lipa City. City. 
Mamplorife M. Narag of Tumawini Standalone Senior High School, Isabella. Mam Beverly Joy O. Lorenzo of Horacia de la Costa High School, Calaacan City. Sir Einstein Tapalia of Inasloban, Marawoy Integrated National High School, Lipa City. Mam Ladylin A. Dukay of Padre Garcia National High School, Batangas. And the ELS Students of the Week, congratulations to Sir and Colleen M. Pabregas of Grade 11 Humes, Humes D. Pinagkawitan Integrated High School, La Paz City, under Mom Sherilyn J. Lat. Hello, Mom Sherilyn. And Cassandra D. Katap of Grade 11, Humes D. Pinagkawitan Integrated High School, under Mom Lat. And Elizabeth A. Prias of Grade 11 Humes from Kabiga High School, Kalaakan City, under Ma'am Alermo. And the ELS Top Student of the Week goes to Mark Junre Napoles of Grade 11 ADM Edison, Concepcion National High School, Leyte, Sir Rafael N. Radores. Hello, Sir. Congratulations then sa iyo, Jen Michael F. Marania of Grade 11 ADM Edison. Conception National High School, Leyte, uh, under kay Sir Rafael N. Ladores. Mahusay mga ka -ELS. Congratulations! Okay, so to start, um, let us recall the lesson we took last session. So let's start with this. Identify or fill the term. If you can still remember the, ano, the terms presented last session. So, right, number one, the life science is a collection of blank that is made up of blank and principles that tackles the number three and the function of number four is starting from the molecular level up to entire ecosystem. So, while I'm waiting to your answer, uh, let me check the attendance. Yes, you are there. Kaibiga, okay, Aurora Senior High School. Who else? Watching from Jones Rural High School. And then Jones, Aurora, and the subject teacher. Conception National High School. Okay, Edison, Conception National High School, you are there. And Samantha of, of San Basi Samantha Martinez, Aurora Senior High School then. So that's a number one, that is discipline. You are right. Uh, Shikina Patigayon. It's discipline. Disciplines. So the life science is a collection of discipl disciplines that is made up. The discipline refers to the, ano, um, those are the information, the knowledge that made up of. So what is next? That is number two. For number two, Okay, discipline pa rin, Luigi, Echabaria, Samantha, Nicole, discipline, okay, you're right, Elizabeth, and Shikina, okay, let us proceed to number two. Number two is, okay, Paris, right, you are right, Mark Junri na po. Mark Chenry Napoles ang bilis. Uh, nalipat na agad. Okay? Made up of theory and principles that tackles the, the structure. Those are the body structure and function of we are referring to the living organisms. Starting from the molecular level up to enter the ecosystem. Then we review also the, ano, uh, we discuss also the branches of biology. What do you call the branch of science or a branch of biology that deals with the study of, of the microorganism like the virus and bacteria? Okay, ayan, andyan, yung mga theories. Yes, theories and principles. Plural pala yan. Bakit ang nakalagay theory? Ah, okay, so e, aayos natin yung mga so, number one, uh, that is microbiology. For number two, it is a branch of biology that deals with the study of plants. It is known as botany. And next, the study of animals is known as zoology. Next, we discuss also the evolving concept of life based on the emerging pieces of evidence and the enumerate 
the characteristic of the living organism, such as they respond to their environment, they grow and develop, they are capable of reproduction, they exhibit metabolism, they maintain homeostasis, and they are made up of cells. By the way, uh, from the Department of Science and Technology, uh, let us support the National Science and Technology Week from November 22 to 28, okay? Uh, with the team Agham at Teknolohiya tugon sa hamon ng panahon. Meron silang mga program para sa atin, guys. So, the hashtag for this National Science and Technology Week, we have hashtag 2021 NSCW, hashtag DOSC tugon sa hamon, hashtag Science for the People. So, let us support, guys, the National and Science and Technology Week. For the objective for this, uh, session based from the most essential learning competency describe how unifying teams structure and function evolution and ecosystems in this study of life show the connect connections among living things and how they interact with each other and with their environment so let us focus on the unifying teams in this study of life the study of life refers to biology. The bi biology comprises a number of disciplines uh, such as the biochemistry and ecology. We uh, enumerate those in a different discipline last time. As a wide-ranging and complex science, biologists designed the term the unifying teams. So when we say the unifying teams connect the different subs subdisciplines that make up biology a science. So unify means uh, to come together, and teams you are referring to the you know, the subject that you want to imply. So unifying teams, it is uh, unifying teams connect the different fields of biology. They connect the concept of different fields of biology. So let's have number one. So uh, we have the biological science. In biological science, uh, biological science, it's biological system rather. A system, when you say system, it is an organized group of interacting parts. So here we have an example, a body system. The body system, here, uh, a body system includes organ, the organs that interact. Here, example, the organs in digestive system. We have also the immune system, the nervous system. And uh, the body the body performs its function with this you know, digestive system. In broader perspective, the human performs its, you know, its role in the ecosystem. An ecosystem includes living and non-living things that interact. So based from this illustration, uh, the sunlight, the sunlight uh, play a vital role to the living organism and non-living. There is also a illustration of symbiotic relationship between the ano, between the human and the uh, tree. So the the human release carbon dioxide, which is uh, important to the life or to for the tree, and then the oxygen release oxygen, which is uh, necessary to support the life of a human. So that is under biological system. It is a group of entity or organs that work together to carry out a particular task. The next is the cellular basis of life. You have learned about this last time. Okay, the living organisms are composed of cells. It is the basic unit of life. So you know the difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Um, Eukaryotes evolved, based from the uh, cellular theory, the eukaryotes evolved from prokaryotes. So all living organisms, uh, they are made up of cell. And the cell is the basic unit of life. Then second is the interaction with the environment. For number three, the interaction with the environment, living things cannot live alone. Their survival depends on how they interact with their environment. So uh, there are two components of the ecosystem. We have the biotic and abiotic. 
The living organisms such as the living things like plants, animals, bacteria, proteins, fungus, uh, these are uh, biotic factors. And then abiotic factors, these are the non-living things which is important for the survival of the biotic or the living things such as water, soil, air, light, and minerals. So that is under interaction with the environment. Next, the energy and life. Okay, living organism use of energy for their metabolic process to obtain their energy. Some living organism capture the light energy and convert to chemical energy. Example, the plant. Okay, uh, it absorb, it capture the light. Then the plant are uh, able to prepare. Can they can prepare their own food? And then, uh, by the way, they are called autotrophs. They can prepare their own food. And the mice, the eagle, the snake, by the way, this is an example of a food chain. Uh, and then what else? The grasshopper. Normally, these are this, uh, living organism. organisms use chemical energy stored in the molecules. So they obtain chemical energy from the food. Okay, so the grass. Hopper eat the plant. So, nakuha na niyo yung energy. Then, the mice eat the grasshopper. The grasshoppers. Then, the snake eat the mice. They are called heterotrophs. Uh, the organism that, uh, the organism na hindi nakapag uh, produce of their own food, uh, they obtain their energy from the chemical energy. Uh, those are called heterotrophs. And the next is the forms and function. Organisms, structures fit with its function. So look at this. Uh, sample here, the structure of a butterfly. A butterfly, uh, like insects, they have six legs to hold, to hold on to the, to hold on to their, to the branches or leaves. And based from this structure, they can fly, okay? So, uh, the butterfly play an uh, important role in the ecosystem. They serve as pollinators and at the same time, food to other, uh, to other animals. And what else? Based from their structure, the, uh, no, their, the mouth part, which is known as the proboscis or food tube, uh, it works like a straw. Yan, hahaba yan. So it ano, it absorb nectar of the flower. Then another example of a form and function and an example in plants at po in creeping or vine vine plants normally they possess a wiry like structure a thread like structure which is used to support them uh, to climb up. Okay? So by the way, it is known as tendril. Okay, they are called tendrils. Ayan, mga tendrils, uh, sample ito ay yung kalabasa, kalabasa plant. And in reproduction and inheritance, traits of parents are being passed from one generation to the next generation. Um, there are two types of reproduction, a sexual reproduction and sexual reproduction in a sexual reproduction uh, one example we have here the unicellular organism the one entity divided into two okay and which is uh, the two entities uh, possess the characteristic of the uh, of that organism and then another example is uh, another example the the asexual reproduction at hydra Hydra reprodu uh, they reproduce through the process of budding. So there is an outgrowth bud, okay? And then that outgrowth bud, uh, the touch, which is almost the same with this organism. And in sweet potatoes, uh, sweet potatoes propagate through the you know, cuttings. So paano mag, ano, how to propagate sweet potatoes. So just you know, plant the stem and then after two weeks, a couple of weeks, you know, um, pwede nang magkaroon ng talbos ng kamote. And then for three, you know, for three months, you can have sweet potatoes. So 
that those are under a sexual reproduction. In sexual reproduction, there is a uh, formation or there is a fertilization process wherein it is the fusion of the sex cells or the gametes. The egg cell fertilize the egg cell to form the zygote. Okay, the process is known as fertilization, which ano, the, the offspring uh, possess the characteristic or the traits from the parents. That is under reproduction and inheritance. Next, let's have the regulation or homeostasis. Homeostasis is the maintenance of constant internal conditions. All living organisms must live in a stable environment. Uh, our body uh, maintain homeostasis. homeostasis. Um, the hypothalamus regulates the temperature and changes in osmotic pressure. So uh, uh, our body can regulate the temperature. There is a... If you are normal, uh, the regular body temperature is 37 uh, degree, lower than that, then higher than 37, 37 point something, there's something wrong. It is an indication that something wrong with you. Meron, it's either metal infection or uh, there's something wrong in the body. And then the pancreas regulates the blood sugar, which is very important in the, uh, know, in the biological process, the production of the insulin. And then we have also here the kidneys maintain the water balance. So our body, all living organism, live must live in a stable environment, which is uh, the internal balance. Uh, it is, ano, regulated. Okay. So in adaptation. Living things need to adapt because the environment where they live varies constantly changes. So here the example, normally adaptation in order to survive, the animals uh, adapt their environment, okay? Like this illustration in desert area, the animal, uh, na ano niya yan, na kakapag-adapt sa environment, uh, in order to survive, same also with this, uh, in cold place, normally to adapt in a cold place, the body of that animal uh, produce a thick fur, kumakapal yung fur nila. And another way, uh, another accomplished uh, ability of some animal to change color and body structure in order to blend with their environment. So here, uh, look at this uh, kind of animal, which is almost the same with the color of the, you know, of the, uh, of the trunk of the tree. Okay, yan. Halos kakulay na niya. Okay. Uh, in order to survive, to uh, avoid predators, ayan. So, that is uh, under adaptation. And then here, we have the evolution. So, evolution and adaptation are related. They are related. Evolution is the change in living things over time. The genetic makeup of population of a species, species changes. It accounts for both diversity and all the unity of life. So in evolution, normally, um, the organism evolved to adapt in the to adapt their environment, okay? To adapt their environment. So like the evolution of the horse. So the modern horse evolved from uh, pleohippus. By the way, based from the etymo etymology, uh, it is from the word hippo. Uh, from the Latin word hippo means horse. So Modern horse evolved from Pleohippus, and Pleohippus evolved from Merichippus. Merichippus evolved from Mesohippus, and Mesohippus evolved from Echeohippus, a dog-like structure with four toes. Okay, uh, based from my readings, usually most, uh, most, uh, most of the time, this kind of animal run most of the time. Kaya uh, the ano the toes. Uh, develop, uh, become smaller. The side toes become smaller and uh, useless 
kasi hindi niya gaanong nagagamit, then the middle toe develop into a hoof. Okay? So, that is under the evolution of the horse. Oh, that is under evolution uh, unifying team. And next is biology and society. In biology and society, the fields of science is changing the lives of all organisms through research. So biology uh, helps us to understand the living. The living, um, the biology helps us to understand the living organism. And then the biologists work to improve the food, the, foods, uh, the food that we need to cure medicine, uh, to cure disease uh, there and provide medicine and to protect the environment. So one sample of the product is the COVID-19 vaccine. So that is how biology related to society. Okay, for this activity, um, it is on page seven to eight. Those who have the module, module 22, name the unifying team illustrated below. Show your answer from the words inside the box. So let's have number one. Um, choose from the following unifying team. The biological system, cellular basis of life, interaction with environment, energy and life, for and form and function, reproduction and inheritance, regulation, homeostasis, adaptation, evolution, biology, and society. So identify the unifying theme illustrated in number one. Okay? So based from the 10 unifying theme, what is uh, number one? So again, go back. Uh, hello. Okay, you are there. Um, Conception National High School and Aurora Senior High School. Okay po. So I'm waiting for your answer in number one, mga anak. Okay. Luigi. Okay. Hello. Uh, Luigi Chavez Echebarria of Kabiga High School. Hello, Diane J. Madayag of Tumawini National High School. Meron na po ba? So, for number one, that is... Good afternoon, Nicole Wayapur. Hello, Jinri. How are you, Cassandra? Kaya lang, I'm waiting for your answer. Bakit parang antagal or natabunan? Ito, natabunan ng comments at uh, nakapag after the discussion. Okay, it's homeostasis number one. Number one, homeostasis. Marjelena Eligan, why homeostasis? Look, look at this. Um, we discussed last time about this. And based from your answer, based from the illustration, is that homeostasis? Hello? Or kanina pa yun? Okay. Hi, Ma Marcos Chenriel. Hello. Uh, Christine Grace Sipagan Corpus from Alibadbad National High School. Uh, hindi pala, yun, uh, yung sagot niya na homeostasis kanina pa yun. Okay. So, you don't have number one? Ayun. The cellular basis of life. You are right. Kate meets. Kaya lang wala kang ano. Uh, Kate meets. You're right. Cellular basis of life. Kate meets. Who is Kate meets? Um... Okay, you are right. Chavez, Alvarez, Ibanez, Bayan, Frias. Okay, lahat. Okay, tama na. And then for number two. Okay, Daniela, you're right. Dayag, uh, Dayanan, Alvarez. Okay, right. Now, let us have number two. For number two, the hand and we have the ano, a bird. So for number two. 
Okay, you are right. Adrian, you are right. Paulino, you are right. Beho, you are here. Okay, Napoles. Okay, very good, Salarda. Alvarez. Good afternoon, Catherine of uh, uh, Daniel R. Aguinaldo National High School. So, let's have number two na mga anak. Which uh, unifying team illustrated below? What's... For number two, that is evolution. Is that evolution? Look, uh, the hand. What is the use of this? What is the use of your hand? Anong gamit ng kamay? Oh, yan. And then, eto, the bird. Meron siyang... Uh, this part, the wings. And uh, is that uh, evolution? Which is the ano, uh, nearest? Uh, which unifying theme illustrated or described or depicted from the picture? So, lahat nag evolution. How come that uh, evolution? Evolution, it is the formation evolved through the adaptation. Nag-evolve din itong kamay. Nag-evolve din siya, mga anak. Okay, you're right. Abado, rods, it's form and function. <laughs> it's form and function. How come? Evolution. Yung kamay niya, pinansulat niya, is that evolution? And then, yung ano yung bird na may wings okay um that is form and function isa lang yung nakakuha ayun nagsunod-sunod na sila pare-parehas na then let's have this for number 3 ayan yung number 3 ayan madali yung number 3 okay for number 3 that is the evolution and let's have number 4 okay how about here in number four. How about here in number four? So, go back to unifying team, the biological system, the cellular basis of life, the interaction with the environment, the energy and life, the form and function, the reproduction and inheritance, regulation um, or homeostasis, the adaptation, evolution, biology, and society. So, dito tayo in number four. Okay, lahat, uh, lahat pare-paras. You are correct in number three, evolution. How about for number four? Okay, Adrian, that is energy and life. The transfer of the energy from the sun and then captured by the plant and then the plant. Um, The plant na kinain ng animal and then the animal uh, na yun ang magiging food naman of, of a human. So, you are right. Let's have number five. How about in number five? So, is that a biological system, a cellular basis of life, an interaction with the environment, an energy and life, formation and function? Uh, for number five po. For number five, other option, the reproduction and inheritance, the regulation or homeostasis, the adaptation, evolution, biology, and society. So, is that energy and life? Number five, oh, puro, puro, puro pa number four atong mga to. So, ayun, may humabol for number three. And for number four, energy of life by Estera, Kata, Hapur, Okay, Alvarez, it's biological system, biological system. Is that the interaction in the in interaction with environment? You are right, Frias and Cassandra. Okay, Ferrer, Tangonan, you're right. Okay, so next. 
Um, for the ELS activity of the week, you are going to explain the quotation, your body is not just a body, it's an ecosystem. So you may present your work through an essay or illustration. Send your answer via Facebook, itulay ELS with Tutor Tony and Tutor Joyce. Dun po sa, uh, sa, ano, sa Facebook page na. Okay, so for the ELS question of the week, last week, um, here's the question. If you are an environmentalist and was assigned in one of the forests in the Philippines, which happened to be a location of some endangered species, what are the plans that you would organize to ensure the conservation of the species of the flora and fauna present in your assigned area? And here's the mauhusay answer of the week. Sino ang mga nakakuha? Uh, the best answer, mahusay answer of the week, goes to J.R.L. Sagun, grade 11, STEM Gold, Joan of Jones Rural High School, Isabella, uh, under Ma'am I.B. Pfizer Gabayan. According to him, ano ba nga ba ang sinasabi niyang gagawin niya? I will take part and lead the people in eliminating anything and that might cause harm to the threatened species and creating actions for their benefits such as creating man-made mangroves if there are water area set out plants depending on what the species need okay thank you jr sagun very good how about uh the yan joy madaya thank you mahusay answer of the week the yan joy madaya of grade 12 birth uh, from Tumawini National High School, Isabella, under Ma'am Joanne Magaliones. Ano naman ang sabi niya? Let's, uh, ano, uh, don't forget the three R's. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let's be all men of action, volunteer, and make a move to protect our endangered species and conserve for the future. An environment, I will, allow, I will not allow an ethical activities to contain our environment to be harmed. Okay, so thank you, Diane Joy D. Madaya. And let us proceed to bio quiz or the ELS bio quiz for quiz two for week two. Okay, let's have number one. Continuity of life is explained by, okay, so let us go back to the uh, unifying themes. The continuity of life is explained by evolution, regulation, form, and function, reproduction, and inheritance. So, what is your answer for number one? Hello, Mary Jane uh, Chrysostomo Maliari of Kabatuan East District, Jamantina National High School. Hello. And... Hannah Shell, hello, Hannah Shell. Same, uh, Mary Cruises, no? parang inulit lang. Hello, everyone. Danica Alvarado, good afternoon. From Helium, Daniel Aragonaldo National High School. And then from Pinagkawitan Integrated National High School, Cassandra de la Cruz, Katap. Hello, anak. So, meron na ba tayo for number one? Can you... Identify for number one, it's letter A. Is that evolution, girly, girly Kasanya? Is that evolution? Can you still remember the evolution? Evolution. The gradual development of the organism. Continuity of life is explained by evolution. Which is the best answer? Is that evolution, regulation, form and function, reproduction and inheritance? So, according to Yapor, it's letter C. Uh, Francis Kilbayan, evolution. Puro sila nag-evolution. Ayan, si Napoles, it's letter B, regulation. Magkakaaway ang mga sagot. And why it is evolution? It is a gradual development. Continuity of life is explained by Yapor, it's letter C. Form and function naman. And then, Mark Junry Napoles, your answer is the reproduction and inheritance. Okay, you are right. Mark Chinri Napoles. And who else? Shalang. Ah, yun. And then followed by Lastra, Peony May Napoles. And who else? 
Okay, si Napoles. Diyan rin Napoles, siya lahat. Siya lang. Ah, Mia Estera. Okay? And then, Katap. Cassandra, Katap. So, let us proceed to number two. Living, organi living things are considered organisms if they possess which of the following characteristics. Okay? So, discussed by Chutern Tony last time and uh, it's theme farther today. So, is it A, grow and develop? Failure. B, failure to produce offspring. C, absence of orderly structure. The incapability of adapting to changing environment. Again, living things are considered organism. Kailan natin masasabi na, uh, na uh, living things ang isang uh, organism if they possess which of the following characteristics? So, is it A? The, we are now in number two. Okay, yung mga humabog sa number one. Ayon, A, B, C, D. Yes, Ibanez, you're right. Sa so, number one. Orihino, sige. Okay, so number two na tayo, guys. Okay, so yung mga nahuli, tama naman na lahat. For number two, characteristic. Characteristic of living organism. It's letter D. Ah, number one pa rin. Naka D. Ang haba ng mga sagot. Okay, proceed na tayo sa number 2. Wala pa rin ang number 2. So, D, Salarda, Patigayon, Francisco, Rosario, I, A, C, Sipagan. Doon sa number 1 kanina, it's, ano, natapos na natin ka kanina. Hello, uh, from section Socrate, so, from, ano, from Aurora Senior High School. So, for number two, meron na ba tayo? Kate Mitz, it's letter A. Who else? Number two, C, Napoles. And then, Marjan Ray Napoles, 2A. Okay, 2A. So, minus C, minus A. Okay, D. The correct answer, it's letter A. Grow and develop. Bakit letter, why your answer is let, ah, number one pa lang tong iba. So, why your answer is letter C? Nasaan ba yung C? Absence of orderly structure. Uh, it's the characteristic of living organism. Ano? Ayun, lahat na naka A. Okay? So, next, let's have number 3. For number 3, which of the following best explains why humans sweat when they feel hot? Is it A, ability to grow, B, ability to respond, C, ability to use energy, D, ability to maintain the internal environment? So, which of those best explains why humans sweat? Bakit? So, for number two, continuation, ang haba ng A. Sige po, A, okay. Pero sa number two, meron pa rin na... Uh, Okay, nakuli. So, A, A, uh, Manius A, Bayanan. Okay, let's have number, uh, Cassandra Katap, A, Orlijan, A, very good. So, number three na tayo mga anak. Okay, for number three, mahabang A to, mula, mula Mindanao. Hanggang Luzon. Ang haba ng A natin for number 3, it's letter. Wala pa rin pumapasok for number 3, it's number 2, puro letter A, ang haba ng letter A. Okay, so let's have number, ayun, yung iba walang number. Don't forget to type the number of your answer. For number 3, mga anak, maaraming sumasagot. It's letter C. Nicole Y. Yapor. Who else? Okay. Chu. Letter C. Letter C. Who, oh, who else? For number 3. Yapor C. Orly C. Wala nang iba. Okay. Number 3. Uh, D. Okay. Luisa. Luisa Joy. 
The correct answer is letter D. You are right. Luisa Joy Pua. So, number three. O, oh, yan. Sunod-sunod na. Letter D na lahat. And then, number four. Living organisms cannot live alone. They are interacting with the abiotic factors for sustainability of life. Which of the following is considered as an abiotic factor? So, if you can still remember the abiotic and abiotic based from the illustration and uh, explanation. Can you still remember? So, which is... Uh, considered as a biotic factor. A, bacteria. B, plant. C, light. D, man. For number four, hello, Adrian. Hello, Napoles. Number four, okay, mabal pa rin sa uh, number three pa rin yung nakikita kong sagot. Number four na tayo. Again, living organism cannot live alone. They are interacting with the abiotic factors for sustainability of life. Which of the following is considered as an abiotic factor? Okay, number four. Ang haba ng letter ng number three. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin number four. Waiting for number four, mga anak. Okay. Hello, Colliado, Estera. Okay, sa so number three pa rin. Number three, Salvador, De Guzman, Estera, Tilio. Kumusta ang number four? Okay. Ah... Uh, Heronko, your answer, letter C. It's light. And then, Yapor, your answer is A. Bacteria, abiotic. Pag sinanding abiotic, uh, refers to the, ano, the materials or the, around, uh, the thing around the living organism. Sagot mo, bacteria. That is under living organism. I'm referring to abiotic factor. So, the answer is letter number four, roads. Abalos ra roads. It's letter C. Okay? Abalos ra roads. Paulino. Yan. Si Atienza. Your answer is C. You're right. Kate Mitz. It's letter C. Okay? Daniela. It's letter C. For number five. It is a unifying team of life science that explains the improvement of lives of all organisms through research. So, is that adaptation? Is that an uh, inheritance? For C, it's an energy and life. Or D, it's biology and society. For number five, it is a unifying team of life science that explains the improvement of life of lives of all organisms through research. Ano yon? So, which unifying team? Is that adaptation, inheritance, energy and life, biology, and society? So, alin dyan, mga anak? Hello, watching from Quirino National High School. Jomari Ariola Gonzalez. Anak, sumagot ka or type your answer in number five. Hello to ano, Prince Angel Borromeo from ano? from Jones Rural High School under Ma'am Ivy. Okay, number five na tayo, mga anak. Sige. Good afternoon from Lalawanan National High School, Isabella. Shout out po kay Ma'am Kamayo. Hello, Ma'am Kamayo. Uh, teacher. Teacher namin sa Earth and Life Science, Ma'am. Okay. Na-shout out na. Hello, Ma'am Kamayo. For number five na tayo, mga anak. Okay, still sa number, ano pa rin to? Sa number four pa rin ang nakikita ko. I'm still waiting for number five. Okay, Mariam Aranyo, sige. Try Shane Bautista, Adrian, Katap. How about number five? Hello to uh, Natalna Jones, ano, uh, from 12 Natalna Jones Rural School, Ma'am uh, Gemaline. Ronda. And from Alibadbad National High School, 12 Sapphire. Meron na po bang 5? For number 5. Okay. 
uh, idong okay meron na tayong meron na tayong nakitang number five that is letter D you are right Natalia Lynn idong and Nicole Wyapol so uh, for uh, let us end this ano uh, the session by this quotation um, each one of us matters has a role to play and makes a difference each one of us must take responsibility for our own lives and above all show respect and love for living things around us especially each other by jade goodall english primatologist and anthropologist so bawat isa sa atin we have our own role Merong rule ang bawat isa. Kahit sino pa man, si Marites or Marisol, or whatever uh, the characteristic they possess, meron at merong ginagampanan ang bawat isa sa atin. So we have to show respect, love for the living things, and especially respect to one another. Okay, the references, and uh, please support the Team Mahusay Senior High School Science for the first semester, and your feedback matters to us. Um, we openly welcome your feedbacks, comments, complaints, suggestions, and concerns about what we are doing well and what you think that we could do better. So you can send in a tiny URL to my Facebook form, or you can use this. Then, thank you. Uh, up next, from 4.40 to 5.20, the media information, literacy, Monday, and general biology one, uh, 4.40 to 5.20 p.m. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and good afternoon. I am. Ang husay naman, natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan. Dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa itulay!